Welcome back. Local charity A Bed and a Book is hosting its Dreams and Greens charity golf classic soon. Oh, you'd be just this is right up your alley, <laughs> it Audrey. Is. It's this Friday at Tanglewood's Championship Golf Course, and there's still time to register to play. I love the name of this too. So here <laughs> to share more, we have a bed and a book's founder, Anna Lisa, Annalisa Wall. Excuse me, Annalisa, thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me today, Audrey. So excited to be on and to be able to share about the golf tournaments. Thank yeah, you. of course. Yes. We're excited to have you. Let's get into it. If you could just tell us a little about the inspiration behind the nonprofit. Absolutely. So um, uh, sadly, I identified uh, three children sleeping on the shower curtain. The children's room was completely empty, nothing in the room but the shower curtain and three towels on top of that shower curtain. And that is where the children slept every night. Uh, when I identified this need, I felt an immediate call to action, and I could not find anyone delivering beds in Winston-Salem, so I formed a team of friends and off we went to deliver those three beds, and we thought the work was done at that point, but um, the word we got out apparently, and I kept receiving phone calls with people asking if I was the bed lady, <laughs> and <laughs> which is the kind of the new nickname, but um, it became obvious that the more calls that came, that there was a need for a 501c3. Mm -hmm. So I formed that because of the great need of a bed and a book. Well, I think your story is so inspiring to see a need and then and then work to fill that. And you've done such a great job of that. Where did your idea for this golf tournament come from? And what is planned for Friday? Obviously, it's a great thing to help support your organization. Absolutely. Well, I enjoy a round of golf myself. My son and I, we we have any free time. That's where you'll find us. We'll be on the course. So, you know, obviously that's always a fun thing. But then also, you know, we have volunteers like the Maple Chase Rotary Club, the, the guys there that play golf. They help a lot with the bids and, you know, discussing it with other volunteers. We thought it would be a great way to have fun, to bring awareness for the children's community that are sitting on the floor, which is two to three percent of children nationally without a bed. But then also have a fun day and raise money to, to make sure that every child has that safe space to sleep in. Yeah, what a great idea. What a great, I mean, something that we can just so easily take for granted that some right. kids may not have. I'm so glad you're filling that need. If you could just tell us a little bit about the impact that you've seen this organization, what it has had on children's lives. Absolutely. So, you know, just having a bed boosts the children's energy. It improves their focus at school. It positively affects mental and physical health. You know, I'll share with you, I had one mom who gave me feedback that her son was on the brink of suicide. But just having that space of his own, that sense of pride it gave him, and the books to take his mind off of the problems he was dealing with, turned that around. You know, I get feedbacks from families telling me that the grades are improving of the children we're serving, as well as teachers who've made referrals saying that the attendance rate of the students have has increased. So we're getting a lot of positive um, feedback rather on the impact we're making. And Annalisa, there's also the the book aspect of, you know, the name of your organization. So obviously you're doing a great job at promoting children's literacy as well. Yes, yes, yes. Promoting literacy goes hand in hand with providing a sound sleeping space. We're lucky Bookmarks locally um, partners with us. And for every bed that we deliver, they provide what we call a book bundle. It's three books and it's not just any books. These books are hand selected for the children. We ask their interests and um, what they are, you know, want to learn more about. And we cater the books to that um, situation for them. So You're I've had so many moms. I'm sorry, I've had so many moms say, wow, I can't believe Johnny's reading this book, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's so important too. Um, yeah. There are, are probably needs that you still have. So volunteering, um, in addition to this golf classic, what are ways that people can support you? Yes, yeah, certainly we need um, in-kind donations of uh, bedding. We take only twin size bedding, but any twin size bedding, new sheets, comforters, Pillows, people don't think about pillows, but I think now we may have four pillows left in our warehouse. So we're consistently in need of uh, twin size bedding, anyone who wants to donate that way. You know, spreading awareness, letting people know that there are, you know, we have 26 children on a waiting list right now needing beds. Um, wow. Also volunteers as well, anybody can volunteer. 
I'm so glad that we got to have you on our show this mm -hmm. morning. Thank you so much. And we hope that this week's Golf Classic is a big success. Again, it's this Friday starting at 730 in the morning at Tanglewoods Championship Golf Course. You can always learn more on how to support but get involved if you'd like to take part in that Golf Classic by visiting abedandabook.com.